desire of God is for you to be blessed, to be a blessing. God said to Abraham in Genesis chapter 12, I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you and make you famous and you will be a blessing to others. The blessing that God gives you as a human being, as his child, as his own son or daughter is not for you to flaunt it before people. It is not for you to flex or show that and show people, oh, I'm richer than you. It is not for you to go into this competitive mindset of trying to buy the latest car, build the latest house, or do the latest thing so that people will be like, oh, God really has blessed you. It's not a place of pride. It is not for you to be in a place of every year I change my cars. I do not repeat a car that I used last year for the next year. It is not to flaunt the riches. God's blessing to you is for a purpose. And he said that the purpose is for you to become a blessing to other people. God do not want to bless you and you become a container of his blessing and just hold it and keep it. Because your heart will be destroyed when you are having the mindset of hoarding the riches, of becoming a container. But by the time you know that God wants you to be a conduit of his blessing, you know that you are a pipeline whereby God's blessing flows through you and gets to other people. It keeps flowing through you and gets to other people. With that, God can trust you with his blessings to make it flow through you. And as such, you need to debunk that mindset of thinking, God, if you bless me too much, I might deny you. Nothing would make you deny God if you know that he is the source of all your blessings, he is the source of all your riches. You will only deny him when you don't see him as the source. In 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, it says, And God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. Blessed to be a blessing is the desire of God for you. Because God wants you to develop the heart of generosity whereby you are a conduit for the blessing that it brings to your life. So the next time you hear a prayer that sounds like, God, don't bless me too much, close your ears. That is not from God. That is not God's desires. How would you be generous if you do not have? How would you give to others if you don't have to eat yourself? Because you can only love others to the measure that you love yourself. As scripture says, love your neighbor as you love yourself. So if you don't have to eat, how are you going to give to your neighbor? Because there's not a place that God is telling you, oh, disregard yourself, do not care for yourself, do not love yourself, love your neighbor. God does not tell you to disregard yourself. You are very, very hungry and you know that if you do not eat, something bad might happen, might affect your health and you'll be like, let me give this little food that I have to my neighbors. The little I have is the Christian world, my dear, my friend. Nobody could do that. Even the widow, when Elijah went to meet the widow, the widow said, this little thing that I have, I want to eat it with me and my child and after eating, we will die. This is the last I have. I can't give it to you. That is why you need to come to the mindset of knowing that God wants you to be a blessing. And to be a blessing, he has to bless you with overflow, with plenty leftovers. Not just with enough for you to live with. Not just for you to have a stingy mindset. Because I would feel like when you say to God, don't bless me too much, it is stinginess being packaged as humility. God, don't bless me too much so that I won't deny you. God knows your capacity. And if you are really his child, he will never bless you beyond the capacity for you to handle the blessings he brings to you. He knows each of our capacity. And that is why you need to keep on building enough capacity, building and creating room for the blessings of God. Because if you don't make room, the blessing will not come. And I feel like a lot of Christians are in a place whereby they are limited because they are not making room. Their heart is not being opened. The bowels of compassion is not being opened. That's why the blessing is not flowing. <laughs>